in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For him whom you did marry to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen in need. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his Virgin Mother Mary the joys of everlasting life. So the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. For the entrance, kindly join in singing, I will turn my steps to the altar of God. loved us and washed us clean of our sins by his blood and made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. You may or may not have noticed it, but life is full of invitations. We are invited not only for weddings and birthdays and other things, but every choice we make is in response to an invitation. One of the wonderful things of our relationship with God is this. He's constantly inviting us, inviting us good people to live better lives, inviting us selfish people to be selfless, inviting us concerned about no nothing to be concerned about important things. Even this Eucharist that you all have come for is in response to an invitation. Come for Mass. Come and share the Eucharist with me. We notice that as we celebrate our, this response to the invitation, our lives become better and better. And as we celebrate this last week before Pentecost, He empowers us to respond as fully as we can by giving us the Holy Spirit. You're finding it difficult to respond to my invitation? Take the Holy Spirit, he will make it easy for you. And then, as the hymn says, you will turn your steps to the altar of God. Turn your steps because you are going somewhere else. I will turn my steps to the altar of God. We pray for a while thanking God for having invited us to share in the Eucharist and praying that as our response to the invitation might make us more and more committed in the following of Jesus. For our faults and our failings and our sinfulness, we ask for the Lord's pardon. I confess to Almighty God. my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the best Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A dead man called Jesus, whom Paul alleged to be alive. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea and paid their respects to Festus. Their visit lasted several days and Festus put Paul's case before the king. There is a man here, he said, whom Felix left behind in custody and while I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and elders of the Jews laid information against him, demanding his condemnation. But I told them that Romans are not in the habit of surrendering any man until the accused confronts his accusers and is given an opportunity to defend himself against the charge. So they came here with me and I wasted no time, but took my seat on the tribunal the very next day and had the man brought in. When confronted with him, his accusers did not charge him with any of the crimes I had expected, but they had some argument or other with him about their own religion and about a dead man called Jesus, whom Paul alleged to be alive. Not feeling qualified to deal with the questions of this sort, I asked him if he would be willing to go to Jerusalem to be tried there on this issue. But Paul put in an appeal for his case to be reserved for the judgment of the August Emperor. So I ordered him to be remanded until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsible Psalm. The Lord has set his sway in heaven. Please repeat. The Lord has set his way in heaven. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. Response, the, the Lord, Lord has, has set, set his, his way, way in, heaven. in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. Response, the, the Lord, Lord has, has set, set his, his way, way in, in heaven. heaven. The Lord has set his way in heaven and his kingdom is ruling over all. Give thanks to the Lord, all his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word. Response, the, the Lord, Lord has, has set, set his, his way, way in, heaven. in heaven. Please rise for the gospel. Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. according to John. 
Jesus showed himself to his disciples, and after they had eaten, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? He answered, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He replied, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Look after my sheep. Then he said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was upset that he asked him the third time, Do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. I tell you most solemnly, when you were young, you put on your belt and walked where you liked, but when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and somebody else will put a belt around you and take you where you would rather not go. In these words, he indicated the kind of death by which Peter would give glory to God. After this, he said, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You will remember during the Passion, Jesus had foretold that Simon Peter, his leading apostle, would deny him three times. And Peter swore he would not. He would not. He loved Jesus so much that he would not deny him. And yet, when the time came, he denied knowing Jesus at the time of Jesus' Passion. In a way, that denial was sinful. It was a betrayal of loyalty that he had to Jesus. All this is over now. Jesus is risen from the dead. And he meets Simon Peter again with the other apostles and he gives them a chance to correct himself. You have betrayed me. You have denied me three times. I'm giving you three chances of affirming the wonderful relationship that we have. Simon Peter, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter, son of John, do you love me? It gives him a chance three times to affirm and to make up for those three denials. And then he says, feed my lamb, feed my sheep. In other words, look after the church that I am founding. And as a reward for Simon's loyalty to Jesus now, he tells him, the kind of death he is going to die. When you were young, you went wherever you wanted. Now, in a way, as a reward for your love of me, you will die for me. Others will bind your hands and take you where you do not want to go. The actions of God are strange. The actions of God are strange, and for us also. Sometimes we complain. We have done so much good and we get nothing. The other fellows, they are doing all wrong and they are prospering in life. It's not us, it's not for us to question God. Good and evil we see in our eyes, but in the eyes of God, what is not right might purify us and help us to be worthy of our calling and take us up to the heaven that we all belong to. All the apostles died, crucified, killed, beheaded. But this was the reward they got for being faithful to Jesus. As wrong things happen to us also, let us hear the voice of Jesus saying to each one of us, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And then turn our steps to the altar of God who gives us, or he becomes for us, the joy of our life.
We turn now and make our novena prayer to the infant Jesus, and we bring to the infant Jesus birthdays that some of you all are celebrating today, wedding anniversaries that some of you all are celebrating also, other occasions, blessings and gifts that you've got from God, and making an offering of yourself to God, we pray the novena prayer. Together, O oh Jesus, you said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. And my prayer may be God. O oh Jesus, you said, all that you ask of the Father in my name, he will grant you. Through the intercession of Mary, the Most Holy Mother, I humbly and urgently ask your Father in your name that my prayer be granted. O oh, Jesus, you said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass. Through the intercession of Mary, your Most Holy Mother, I feel confident that my prayer will be granted. We make this prayer, dear infant Jesus, in your name, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign forever and ever. Amen. may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For our good and good of all this holy church. Let us pray. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs>
sinners. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink, eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Barthol Barreto, our Bishop, all the clergy, all the people gathered here around this Eucharist and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. With faith and trust in the God who loves us and cares for us, we turn to him and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another some sign of God's love and peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. 
Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to all of us who receive. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, our resurrection and our life. Those of us who believe in him will live forever. Happy are we who share now in his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only but say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. Heavenly Father, you loved the world so much that you gave your only Son. This Son was the manifestation of the love that you have for the whole world, for the whole of humanity. Because he wanted to be present with us eternally, he chose the form of bread, which we receive when we are privileged to participate in the Eucharist. At this time, Lord, some of us are homebound, some are in hospitals, some are in places where we do not have the privilege to receive the Lord physically. This is why we make this prayer, because we know that nothing is impossible for you and that you will come into our hearts as really and as tangibly as we would want. We pray that with Jesus in us, we might become more and more like him every day. Mary, our mother, mother of God, we ask you to place us with your son. And we ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Soul of 
Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, generate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of the Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. And with thy own side me. Suffer when not to be separated from me. Come to Mary, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And we may come to you. Have with your sins. I may praise you for all eternity. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for constantly inviting us to love you, to share your life with you, to reach out and extend this love to others who are in need of it all around us. Keep us always faithful to you, just as you are faithful to us. Your love for us is steadfast, it's unconditional, it is faithful. We cannot run away from it, and wherever we go, your love goes with us. Help us to open ourselves to the many blessings we will get, because we accept and open ourselves to your love. Help us to make of our lives offerings, constantly offering ourselves who we are, what we are, what we do offering ourselves so that we have given ourselves, we give ourselves fully to your love. The communion prayer, when the spirit of truth comes, he will teach you all truth, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God in his goodness bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy to love God and to love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. For the recessional kindly join in singing, let us mingle together. Oh, mm -hmm.